So this weekend we had something awesome happen to us. Well, happened to the truck. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys saw that we went camping this weekend and I was like, yo, we have a truck. Why not just take it? It's way easier than taking one of our cars. We can get farther. We can do more with the truck. So we loaded up the truck and we set off to go camping. <laughs> and as soon as we left, it started raining. And I'm like, oh man, we don't have a tunnel cover. So like everything's gonna get wet. Which isn't like the worst thing in the world. Like if, if you drive at a decent speed, usually the stuff in the back doesn't get absolutely soaked. So I'm like, okay, let's just hurry it up. Like we'll get there before everything in the back gets wet. And as we start to hurry it up, remember when I told you guys my wipers don't work? I tried to fix them and I thought that on my old truck, what happened was like the wiper motor itself. The little motor that's in here was just seized. So on my old one, I took it and I just smacked it around a couple times and it like unseized and it, and it worked. And I'm like, oh, I'll just try that on this. So I tried that the other day and it didn't do anything. So basically I think I just need a new wiper motor. It's a known problem with these things. They tend to burn out. They're just, they're not the best. We have no tunnel cover and we have no wipers and it was pouring rain. Definitely not ideal. Definitely not something I recommend you guys do if you can avoid it. And today I want to fix that. For the last couple of days, we've been working on the Civic. If you guys haven't seen, we put the diffuser on. I don't really like it. It's one of those things, like, I hate, I feel like a little bitch when I say stuff like that, but, like, sometimes I got a part, and it's so hard to tell what it's going to look like on your car with all this other stuff, and sometimes you just got to install it and see how it goes. I feel like I'm one of the only people that, like, puts stuff on and then says, hey, maybe I don't like that. I'm going to take it off, but I feel like that also kind of makes me, like, real in a sense. I don't know. We also got one of the first parts showed up for the truck. Actually, I'm not gonna open that yet. I'm gonna save that. I told you guys I've been ordering things. This truck's just been looking at me since we got it, just waiting to get work done. So we got one thing show up, and today I want to take care of the fact that those wipers don't work. And maybe a couple other things. Love is forever. Love is forever. Smells terrible. Today we actually came here for a couple things. I hate coming to the junkyard. You guys know that. I'm not a big fan of coming to the junkyard. But I was looking at buying parts for the truck and I was looking at like some grills and I was also looking at parts for the sieve. And I was like going back and forth between a lot of things. I do know that everything I'm trying to get, I can get from the wreckers. Like I can source a bunch of stuff from the wreckers that I would have to like pay for an order online for probably like half the cost. We're just gonna browse for gold. But like right away, this is what I'm looking for. I just don't know if the doors are the same on like a coupe and a, a hatch. This is the trim that'll go with the, the wide body that I just bought. It like completes along the door and then on the back portion as well. But I don't know if that's the same as a hatch door. But like, I don't know why mine doesn't have it, man. This one has it, 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 this one has it. <laughs> like how did I end up getting the only Civic in BC without the frickin' trim on the side. Dude, you wanna know what's cool about this, babe? So you found me this car, right? Yeah. Okay, so I was over there and I was about to pull it off the, the coupe because I measured the door and they're the same. And Courtney sends me a text and she's like, oh, I found one on the hatch. And I was like, whatever, just because it's on a hatch, I'll take it. If anything's going to go wrong, at least it won't go wrong on a hatch. Did you see how this just peeled up? This is 2A taped on. Oh, wow. This is aftermarket already. Because look, so I tested over here. The sedan, I wanted to see how they work because I didn't want to break the ones I wanted. So I pulled this off. They're all clips. And I remember when I was shopping online, I was reading a forum about people drilling holes to put the clips into. Hmm. So the one car you found with it is already aftermarket, which is perfect. Yay me! I hid those trim pieces in the trunk of a car over there. That's actually such a sick find though, because those things are pretty expensive to buy. And the fact that we found one that's already aftermarket is like 10 times easier. The rest of the Honda section today was a huge bust. Found absolutely nothing. So I've never had to look for S10 stuff before. I just see trucks, so I'm walking. Can we get a zoom, zoom, seven to 15. Oof, the chrome bumper. Not a single truck here has a front grille or front bumper. So I was looking for the chrome front end for the truck because I really want to do that. And then I found this thing and I was like, dude, that's actually like what I'm going for. It's just the bumper, it's not the whole thing. But when you get up close, the chrome, where is it? There's like a dent somewhere, Where? right there. There's like a dent and the chrome is like kind of cracking. Chrome is peeling right here. It's not the worst, but it's one of those things where I don't want to buy it. And then like in two weeks, it starts peeling off even worse. And then I have like a new bumper that's 
terribly old. So that kind of sucks, but I'd rather find it now than get all the way home and realize that. So I stole the wiper motor out, which is what we need. I don't know if it's gonna work. No way to check 100% if this thing works, but I can guarantee you there's a higher chance of this one working than mine. I feel like I wanted to jump right into like a motor swap with this thing just to show you guys I'm serious, but that's also kind of stupid just to prove a point to you guys. One of the first things that we ordered actually showed up the other day. These headlights are like candles, dude. They're they're not very good. I mean, for the time, I guess they were all right. They're sealed beam, they're five by sevens or whatever. They work, they, they do their job. They definitely don't do very good, especially for me, I find being colorblind that I like to have a lot of light, especially at nighttime or especially when it's raining. A big one is rain and living in Vancouver where it rains all the time It's like really a big deal for me to be able to see so I spent a long time trying to find headlights for this thing that weren't like super ricey But like that would do a good job And I wanted a projector because they actually have some that I really liked and they had like I had maybe 15 LED bulbs across here just like Into like rows and they look cool My main thing is this truck looks so clean with these headlights like so clean and I don't want to ruin that. I have never seen a photo of this truck with lights that I like. So I took a shot in the dark. I've never seen these on a car ever. So we're both, today, we're both gonna learn how these look. All I could base photos off of was mainly things on Jeeps because Jeeps share a lot of, share the headlight sizes and stuff. So this is what I got. I basically tried to keep it as OEM looking like, kind of not chrome, but you know what, you guys know what I mean? Like not blacked out housing. Um, but with the modern touch of having a projector. So I went like, as far away from the big mountain of rice that I could find and I just I just took a shot in the dark here and my boys at Oxbeam hooked me up. A dope set of headlights. So these are the new headlights for the dime. These things are super cool looking. They're chrome, so they shouldn't they shouldn't be like really I think when people with black housings and stuff, that's when it gets a little tacky. But they do have a dual projector system. They have a couple LEDs and everything in them too, so they should be super bright. I haven't taken them out of the box yet or looked at them at all. I just know that I couldn't find any photos of them, but they looked all right. So I was like, well, just, we're just gonna send it. So I will leave a link to these in the description down below and a link to Oxygen's website. You guys can actually save yourself a decent amount of money if you go down there and use that link to shop around on Oxbeam's site. All the LED bars, all the LED lights and everything that we've ever worked with are all from Oxbeam. Oxbeam is a very good company and a very good supporter of the channel. So go check them out down below. And before we even do that, Let's take the 10 second test and see if that motor I got was a bust or if it's going to do us some good. I'm literally just going to unclip this one, clip this guy in, and just hit the wipers and see if it even moves. Let's see what happens here. Oh man, what do you mean? Why? Why are you not working? Oh man, it's not the fuse. I already checked the fuse. I already beat this one up. That leads me to believe there's something wrong with the wiring in here somewhere, which is like not a priority. It doesn't really affect today's video, so I'm not gonna waste your guys' time trying to figure that out. That's just like a little thing that's wrong with the truck, but I was definitely hoping we could fix it nice and easy, but apparently it's not gonna be that easy. She looks so nasty and naked without it. I had no idea that that little chrome ring like held this thing in there. That's literally all that holds this thing in here. A couple screws and that chrome ring. Let's pop these guys in there. Did I hold it in upside down before? <laughs> I think I might have held it in upside down by mistake. I just realized when I picked it up right now, I'm like, oh, that's upside down. Duh. Yo, not gonna lie, that doesn't look terrible. Thank God. I told you guys right from the beginning too, something I wanna do is like kind of modernize this truck and definitely having like just, let's just test it. We'll talk about it later. Let's make sure it works. Dope, we got nothing coming out of the headlight. That's awesome, I wonder why. What is happening? Oh, maybe it just wasn't plugged in right. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I just didn't have it in right. <laughs> Damn, so what's on when this is on? We got, the top projector and then these two little LED guys. And then I guess high beams is probably this one. High beam, possibly even all of them. I'm just gonna leave you guys right here and we're gonna turn it on and off and see which one changes.
that's pretty cool. I had no idea how they would work. How much better the light pattern is on this one. And again, the camera draws into the hot spot, so like the whole garage is lit. You can see when you point it up, it lights up, but then when you go down, it just hits the hot spots. But like, look at the, the, the projector pattern on this. And then look at that one, just like a one little beam and then kind of like a little nothingness around it. Damn, dude. That is super tight. That is, that is hella bright too. That's good. That's good. I'm happy. Dude, straight up, chrome housing, best idea ever. Like sometimes chrome housing is just not the right scent, especially on like the BRZ. If you put chrome housing in here, it's okay, but it's not the best. Like these look so good that I had to wait till the sun started going down to show you them because honestly, like when I took it out during the daytime, the light reflecting off and stuff, it just looked OEM. Like you couldn't even see that there was a difference. Which is like I said, exactly what I'm going for. So like now that it's kind of getting a little bit darker, you can see the definition better. But I don't know, dude, I think they're hot. I think they're super cool. So I have my light on in here by mistake. They're not obnoxious. They're not super like eye catchy. They just kind of flow with the rest of the truck, but they're way better. Like from here on the camera, can't even really tell. So I'll show you guys a little bit of driving footage right here. All right, so I told you guys I was gonna get you guys some footage. I was messing with some wires and I <sighs> picked a fight with the wrong wires. Honestly, I'm not entirely sure what I did, but this is what's going on right now. Which is minty, it's probably nothing big, it's probably just like a wiring... I, I unplugged and plugged back in a bunch of things, I probably plugged something in wrong. This light's kind of blinding me, but they needed to see me. And I'm definitely, even if I get this thing going right now, not taking it for a drive, because if this thing dies on the side of the road in the dark, that's no bueno. But thankfully I got a big bush at the side of my house. Just check this out, look how, look how good these lights look. Like when you turn them on, they look exactly like a projector should. They project like a perfectly flat line, just, just... Oh. Dude, that's so good. This is exactly what a projector should look like, like a nice straight beam. This literally looks like you got in a modern car. <laughs> that's awesome. So then this is what it looks like right now. And this is what we got with stockies. Nothing. A sad disbursement of light. And then this is the new ones. And this is stockies. And this is the new ones again. And obviously the new ones just, they're just, you just, you just can't beat them. You can't beat the lights. Unfortunately, you can beat me and right now, the truck did that and if it was earlier and maybe light out all I've done is just mess with some plugs to try and see why the wiring like why the wipers aren't working but I, I'm so stoked I think they look so good this was sometimes I get really nervous for things and I'm in I, like the reason I bought that time was because I absolutely love it it was not a car anybody voted for it was not a car anybody really liked but I absolutely love it and I was super scared personally to like ruin it I guess you could say and take those lights off and put something that didn't really fit because like no one has them and if they do they're in the black housings which like I said it, it looks cool but it's not going with what my style is my style is gonna be like super clean I actually might make a video guys I actually might make a video let me go I can't even speak English I never do build plan videos I never like lay out my whole build plan I don't want to do it and tell you guys because I want to like modern yet heavily modify this truck. I want it to be like fitting into the fact that it is living in 2019 slash like 2020 when we're building it, but I want it to like keep all of its its roots. I know it's just a little thing, but sometimes the little things are like the most important mods. They completely change the look and they completely change just like the feel of the truck. Like now the truck will feel way better when driving it. So like I said, I leave a link to these lights down below. These are actually super cool and I might be the first one to have them in the Chrome. I don't really know. I couldn't find anything about it. And if you guys use the link down below, you save yourself a little bit of money on buying them. So go ahead and check them out. And that's pretty much gonna be all we have for today's video. Give this video a big fat like if you did enjoy it and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out and stay committed. Why?